I've got a question here asked by Phidias Bob on LockerGnome.net, and he's wondering what exactly is the cloud, and how does it work? Well, let's see here. For the longest time, we knew where our data existed. It existed on our computers, typically on a hard drive or potentially a floppy disk. So now, when we create files, let's say on a web service like um, Google Docs, for example, uh, we may never actually know where that file sits. We know we can get to it from anywhere, of course, but it's out there in the cloud. You know, we, we don't know the, the physical location of that file, but do we need to know anymore? No, we don't, because we know we can get to it. It's connected to our account. That's for somebody else to worry about and track, because our, 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 our whole, uh, well, I guess, life is eventually going to be stored in the cloud, no longer tied to a physical machine. I mean, just think about it for a second. Now, I've already uh, started to keep most of my media in... Wait a minute. No, I'm not. I I'm really not tracking any of my media anymore. I have a, a Rhapsody account for music subscriptions. I subscribe to Netflix and, and Hulu, so I'm really not buying a lot of physical media anymore, not really storing them on my local network. No, no, no. This data exists in the cloud on these web services. I, I pay to access some of these services. And I know that somewhere the file is sitting on a drive, it has to, I mean, it has to exist somewhere, and I can simply point my web browser or application in that direction, and so long as I have the proper credentials, I can access that file, that object, that bit of my life. Don't have to worry about tracking anymore. It's out there, in the cloud. Services that really are doing all the heavy lifting and hard work for you. You just know you can access your life. And I, I'm assuming you have more of a life than just files and folders and objects. You may, may not. I'm making a pretty large assumption there, Bob. That's the person asking the question. But typically, when we're talking about the cloud, we're talking about a range of services that you're never actually going to be able to touch. You're, you're never actually going to be able to see. You just know you can get to what you need to get to. You know you can store your files or your objects, your life, effectively remotely. Now that can be a, a bit um, stressful in the sense that you may be effectively handing over your entire life to a third party, a company that quite honestly may never know you in person. So I will just throw this out there just because that uh, technology has gotten to the point where you can effectively store media remotely and access it remotely and you know, create documents and edit and collaborate remotely on these web services built in the cloud, on the cloud, within the cloud. I don't really know what uh, uh, preposition to use there. <clears throat> Either way, uh, just uh, tread lightly with that. Caveat clicker. Trying to make a new Latin phrase because clicking really, in terms of mouse clicking or tapping, wasn't around back then in the days of Latin. <sighs> Just be careful, right? When you throw your stuff out into the cloud onto somebody else's service that you can't control. Read your EULAs and user license agreements because you'd be surprised at what you'd uncover. Even if it sounds great, doesn't mean that it is. Hopefully, that. Uh, puts a finer point on the definition of the cloud, at least in respect to cloud computing. All those computers out there doing their computing thing. Crazy computers. My day, we did this right here. We didn't live in clouds. We just got horribly sunburned. My email address, chris at perillo.com. You're more than welcome to uh, add your definition to the thread there, right there on LockerGnome.net, and there are quite a few answers already, uh, including this one. Yeah, it means everything that is shared through the network. Pretty simple. Probably copied it out of Wikipedia. I could be wrong. Leave a comment if you want. You're also welcome to join me in my blog, Chris.Perillo.com. Got a Twitter account, twittercom Perillo, facebookcom Perillo, and then of course coupons.LockerGnome.com. Yeah, that lives in the cloud, too. And uh, if, if I haven't lost you to the cloud, well, then you're more than welcome to join the uh, chat room, typically Talking Tech, 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, at live.perillo.com.
Doc Cloud. We'll see you later.